Chicken is taking flight at a famed DC restaurant. Diners will be some of the first people to get a chance to taste what researchers have been working on for years. CBS's Anna Werner shows us how labs could one day replace farms. Caramelized just like a regular conventional chicken. The chicken they're cooking at Chef Jose Andres Washington DC restaurant comes not from a bird but a lamb from chicken cells grown into meat here at the company Good Meat in Alameda, California. We call it cultivated chicken. Cultivated chicken. Company co-founder Josh Tetrick. Cultivating meat is a way of starting with a cell and ending with chicken, beef, or pork without all the other issues in between. This is the research and development lab. It starts with those chicken cells. This is our biggest bioreactor here which are bathed in a nutrient broth in tanks known as bioreactors. The genetic profile is the same as a slaughtered chicken. Environmental advocates say cultivating meat is more sustainable compared to traditional livestock farming because it uses less water and land. In June, federal regulators approved the sale of lab-grown meat from Good Meat and nearby Berkeley-based Upside Foods. But some researchers say the environmental impacts of cultivating meat will need to be closely monitored as the industry grows. Just by the virtue of creating this meat in a lab doesn't necessarily mean it's better for the environment. And will people eat it? Most, we ask, did. I mean, it tastes good. Yeah, it's, it's really well prepared. good. If you didn't know, you wouldn't really question it. Yeah, I'd buy it. You'd buy it? I'd buy it, sure. Although, not everyone will. Sorry, I don't like it. The chicken won't land in stores until the company figures out how to scale up production. Its next target? Beef. Anna Werner, CBS News, Alameda, California.